Lyme disease serologic testing. When testing for Lyme disease, CDC recommends a two-step process using FDA-cleared serologic tests. These serologic tests are designed to detect antibodies made by the body in response to infection. Antibodies can take several weeks to develop, so patients may test negative if tested within the first few weeks after infection. However, two-step Lyme disease serology is sensitive and specific for patients with manifestations of early disseminated or late disseminated Lyme disease. When a patient presents with possible early disseminated Lyme disease or late disseminated Lyme disease, testing can be very helpful. Again, two steps are required and can be performed on the same blood sample. If the first step is negative, no further testing is recommended. If the first step is positive or indeterminate, sometimes called equivocal, the second step should be performed. If the second step is negative, the overall test is negative. The overall test result is positive only when the first and second tests are positive, or for some tests, equivocal. Some labs use Western immunoblots as the second step test. These tests give results for two types of antibody, IgM and IgG. To be positive, an IgM Western blot requires reactivity to at least two of three specific bands, and an IgG Western blot requires reactivity to at least five of 10 specific bands. If the patient has been ill for more than 30 days, only IgG results should be used. Most infected patients will have mounted an IgG response by 30 days after infection. A negative IgG result after one month suggests that the IgM results, if positive, are likely a false positive. Sometimes, labs that use a Western or immunoblot as the second step test will not report just a positive or negative result for the immunoblot test. Instead, they will report each individual band that is present in the blot. This can cause confusion for both patients and clinicians. For example, here, only three of 10 specific bands on the Western blot IgG test are positive. The minimum criteria for a positive IgG Western blot are the presence of five or more specific bands. That means the overall result here is negative, despite several individual bands being present. Western blots are not the only second step test available. In 2019, the FDA cleared new tests that use a second specific EIA in place of the Western immunoblot assay. These EIAs can be conducted either sequentially or simultaneously on the same blood sample. Some laboratories offer laboratory-developed tests that are not FDA cleared. CDC recommends against using these tests as there is less assurance regarding their clinical accuracy. To summarize, two-step serologic testing is the most reliable laboratory method to diagnose Lyme disease, but it has some limitations, particularly during the first few weeks after infection. Finally, don't forget that antibodies to most infections persist in the blood for months or years after the patient has recovered. As a result, serial testing is not useful as a test of cure, and recurrent positive results are not evidence of ongoing infection. Learn more about Lyme disease testing while earning free continuing education credits. Visit www.cdc.gov slash Lyme slash healthcare.